one of the other things I wanted to show you real quick, um, if you've ever seen any of those like car audio ads where somebody's talking and the waveforms and things like that that, that generate, this was kind of neat. Um, if you take a, a voice, which Okay, so I'm not going to go through that whole thing, but uh, if you go into uh, these effects under generate, there is an audio spectrum or audio waveform, and uh, when you add a <laughs> spectrum to things like this, it gets kind of cool, because all you're doing is basically creating a layer, and then you're linking this layer to your audio layer that you've incorporated, right? And then what you're doing is, depending on how you want to do it, you can actually create a mask. In this case, I took a circle mask, and I put it around here. And then here in my path, I just linked it to this mask. And in the audio layer, I just linked it to my example voice wave. So then if I go in here, hopefully it'll play most of it. That's good enough. Okay, so then we can go even further. And in this case, I went ahead and I added a uh, audio uh, waveform. And uh, so this one was kind of goofy too. But I, ideally, I did the same thing. And then I even went any further and, and I added uh, like a mask and put uh, uh, text on top of it and animated that. But there you can kind of see the waveforms bouncing while still having the thing up and around there. Kind of gives it that whole, uh, you know, kit feel. <coughs> yeah. And this is actually very simple and, and quick. And uh, the longest part about creating something like this was actually just recording it. <laughs>